Hi, this is Mark from LongAmmoWatch.com, and today I got a marathon, kind of a double new release. Um, it is their 36 millimeter Arctic White, doing it in an auto. I have it on a rubber, and I have it on steel. Both here to show you. Um, they did toss me this awesome T-shirt, marathon T-shirt. Comes in white and black. I'm not selling them. I'm not in the uh, is it a haberdashery business. I'm not in the clothing business. Um, I just kind of sell watches, but they have them on their website, MarathonWatch.com. So if you want a cool T-shirt, check it out. Um, really nice. Uh, so, so like I said, two new marathons. We'll do that today. I, myself, am doing the Flight Master still. Well, not still, but, you know, grab and go courts. And then my own little kind of mid-30s nod to sizing, the, um, the two-tone date just. Let's see what Marathon has to offer you today. So guys, we are getting into the uh, Marathon G-Star Automatic Military Watch, the medium size, medium in this case being 36 millimeters in diameter. These are the same watch. Uh, this one's on rubber, this one is on steel. Um, so I guess I'll do the rubber one first and then quickly show you the steel one. So the part number retains the same part number as the other automatic midsize, WW. 194026 and I said a dash WD at the end for white dial very ingenious um, probably something I would have done as well uh, these are true ISO 6425 divers so that's um, one feather in the cap uh, number two they all as you can tell by the radioactive symbol and being a marathon more than likely you're going to guess it has tritium tube markers for the luminescence so if we zoom down on the hands and the markers you'll still look like they have these little tubes We've covered this before, uh, GTLS, gaseous tube light sources, whatever you want to call it. It is uh, tritium gas that is encased in a glass capsule. The inside of the glass capsule has a phosphorescent coating. As the tritium decays, it emits little particles of energy that the phosphorescent coating absorbs and then releases as visible light to you. Uh, so... The deal with tritium is it glows without being the need for being charged. It'll last for at least 10 years, more than closer to 10 to 20 years um, before the visibility dies off noticeably. So uh, very good long life watch. Um, so let's get into it. So I had mentioned it is 36 in diameter. It is 14 thick. It is a chunky watch, even though it's small. You can tell by the aggressive, you know, side profile. It's 43 and a half lug tip to lug tip. Okay. Solid screw down case back. We'll look at that in a second. I did mention it's a sapphire crystal. I do not believe there's any AR. No, I do not see AR. And I, I'm pretty sure that Marathon's mantra is no AR on flat crystals because it takes away some of the clarity of the crystal, which is definitely true. It is a vulcanized 18 millimeter rubber strap, lightly vanilla scented, it smells good, 300 meters of water resistance, sign buckle. You will notice the strap is smooth. There are no holes for the prong to go through. You flip it over and you will see holes. So. When you get the watch, you figure out where you're gonna wear it, and you kind of poke that hole through, and it makes a very clean appearance on the outside. It is a Swiss-made watch, fully Swiss-made. It runs on a Salita SW200 movement. That's a 26 joule hand-winding hacking automatic movement, roughly a 40-hour power reserve. Beautiful, 120 click rotating bezel. I mean, really nice. You guys can hear it, right? I'll come in on the dial a bit while I fiddle with it. So crown, very aggressively knurled, easy to unscrew, even in the small size of the case, even with gloves on. Wind it, hack it, change the time, let's get it out of the danger zone. Okay, one click out and we can change the date. Of course one direction will do nothing. The other direction will change the date. Uh, Swiss made at the bottom of the dial, push it in and turn to maintain your full 300 meters of water resistance until it bottoms out on you. Uh, price, street price, I'm quoting street prices. Basically the bottom line price that you'll pay um, on my web, whoops, on my website will be around 680 bucks for the rubber version, same price as the uh, midsize in black dial. Um, something I'm trying to add now when I remember, uh, 
weight. The watch is 88 grams on the rubber strap. So even though it's small, it does have a nice wrist presence to it. You will notice there are drill lugs. Uh, we'll go over the loom in just a moment. I want to go to the steel bracelet version. So same watch as on a bracelet. We bump up the price uh, to 856 street price delivered on the bracelet. We bump up the weight to 146 grams. Uh, so a decent increase in weight, over 50% increase in weight uh, when you add the bracelet. The bracelet is excellent. So we can look at the bracelet. You see it's definitely screws, right? Definitely screws. Nice clasp. I know a lot of you will say, oh, it's a folded clasp. Yeah, somewhat. There we go. It's not a push button. It is just a friction. Uh, plenty of micro adjustments there. There is no divers. I was looking. No, there is a divers. Look at that. There's a divers extension right there. It is a search and rescue watch. So that would make sense. I never know till I open them. Plenty of micro adjust. Beautiful signed clasp. Uh, let's see. Let's put it like that. Uh, so I mentioned the price. I guess we should check out the loom um maybe before i get into that you know a lot of times on marathon watches they will say u.s government on the dial these are both unmarked just as marathon automatic and then uh, swiss made h3 for the isotope that of uh, gas is being used for tritium it's the uh symbol for tritium the watch is not wound that's why it stopped um and the radioactive symbol let's um let's flip out the lights and check out loom so I did cover this in one of the last videos. I did it was a Tracer video, I'm pretty sure, um, where I tried to explain to you that tritium, its beauty not does not lie within the power of the amount of light that it gives off. Its beauty in that it gives off a duller light, but it gives it off continually. So when you wake up in the middle of the night with adjusted eyes, or you're on some kind of special ops thing going on for two days in the darkness, um, when your eyes look at the watch, you'll, you can easily see the time. Um, if I turn that off, you will not see much. I can turn up the exposure of the camera as much as I want. It's going to be faint compared to the passive luminescence of the triangle, which is why you really need to use a UV light, uh, black light, excuse me, to show the beauty of how it looks. I, I have tritium tube light watches in my collection, and when you walk past them at night, they are killing everything else in, you know, in um, comparison to uh, the luminescence. I do dig the at 12 o'clock. You have an orange marker to really um, set everything off. So before we try it on, we'll go over the case back really quick. 30 atmospheres of water resistance, Swiss made, 26 joule automatic. I told you that. Can't put my finger on it. 316L stainless steel, which is just about the most stainless of these stainless steels. Starting from the top, typical U.S. government part marking. Watch, wrist, dive, 30 ATM. Conforms to ISO 6425, the part number, the amount of radiation that it emits the nrc uh, nuclear regulatory commission id number all this stuff is tightly controlled uh, gs codes uh, for government procurement a cage code commercial and government identity uh commercial sorry commercial and government entity number um company i used to work for for military stuff was cage code 80249 i will never forget that marathon watch is the company control number and there is the serial number when I say it, and people usually, you know, I, I guess people that were in the military or formerly, so I've never gotten a marathon watch. I don't know what you're talking about. They don't issue these. They do. These are given. These are purchased under real government contracts. Not everyone gets one, uh, but invariably, these are supplied to the military. They do meet military specifications, U.S. military, Canadian military, overseas military. Let's try it on. So here it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. If I had a choice in my wrist size of the 36 millimeter or the 41 millimeter, I would probably wear the 41. I like larger watches, but this one obviously fits me just fine above or below. If you want to see where I am on the strap, I'm not, post I'm not poking it through, but there you can see. Uh, definitely go much larger and definitely go a good deal smaller. So a lot of wrist sizes, this will certainly fit. Um, and just in comparison to a date just, 
It's interesting when you look at them side by side, sizes are comparable as far as diameters and stuff, um, but you'll notice the lack of a real bezel on the Rolex kind of makes the Rolex, dare I say, look bigger than the Marathon. Just an interesting way to look at stuff. So I do believe that will wrap it up. This has been Mark from LongOutWatch.com showing you the new Marathon medium or mid-size GSAR government search and rescue. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I will be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.